That is. Is it there? No, I think it's. Yeah. Yep, that's it. That was good. Yeah. Yep. Be careful. Actually climbing, I guess. I don't know. Just don't fall first. It's all muddy. It is. Are you still need to do this one, or do you want to go try something else? I don't know. Cause I don't. I'm just trying to think about how we climb back up this. I, it looks like it's better once you get past this initial part, but I don't know. I think we can do it. We can do it. Do you think? I don't know. I just don't know how to get down on this. Mm -hmm. I don't know either. I'm, about I'm just trying to pick the spots that aren't the muddiest. I said I'm just trying to pick spots that aren't the muddiest, but that's not going to work. Probably going to get... <clears throat> well, this is probably why it's... <laughs> This is probably why it takes five hours. Do you not want to do this anymore? I think it rained last night too, so I don't know that that helps. Matters. How much I trust those, though. Easy. You good? None of the reviews No. It looks like it kind of levels off once we get past all of this, so. Thank you. 
All right, babe. I do the same thing, don't worry. It's like, which one? <laughs> the hardest the hardest thing is, like, it would, it'd be okay. You could just go right there. But there's puddles. There's... <sighs> Once you get over the mud part, I think it's okay, but... No, you probably should have brought like boots or something. Yeah. I was thinking like inclined, inclined trails and like decline and that kind of stuff, but smooth, not rocky terrain, rough terrain. Need again? Nope. Oh, that's just so, that's just fantastic. Bug repellent would have been. Your foot will sink there, so watch. Oh, okay. An extra pair of socks would have been a good idea, but oh well. Alright. It's gonna be tough. Sorry, Jacob, but your car is probably going to get a little muddy. Watch your... Whoop. <laughs> Yeah, these uh, shoes really don't have any tread on them anymore. And even so, the mud makes it really hard. This is cool. It's like a mossy kind of thing. Huh? Okay. What? I don't want to rescue you from the dirty water. Yeah, I prefer not to. I got my I can you, hold you hold it? A little bit of climbing. Thank you. It's a nice view from right here, of all of it. It's 
so treacherous there, so be careful. I said it's really treacherous right here, so be careful. It'll be really easy for your foot to slide off there. What? <laughs> and what? I think we should go that way or this way? <laughs> okay. This way maybe? I'm really trying not to... put my hand anywhere. Oh, shit. You get a photo? Yeah. Were you taking a picture or just checking your phone? Uh, Turn out good? Uh, what? No. Yeah, oh. <coughs> oh. Do you like what, babe? Good idea. Might be better for you to climb over. Yeah. Cause I got the backpack. Can I hand that to you? And then got it. You didn't give me a lot of space to get up there. Sorry, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. After we got a little ways in, I was like, um, mm -hmm. how are we kind of, I mean, other than follow the trail, for the most part, it seems pretty, this is pretty. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess this constitutes one of the white holes. I don't know, it's really small, so. Yeah, but. I'm thinking we cross over, looks like over to that side now. It is.
What was that, baby? Perfect, okay. Designating the right direction to go, good. Oh, I was sweating a while ago. <laughs> uh, hundred percent honest. When I was just sitting on the beach earlier, I was sweating and kind of a humid day today compared to the other days. Anyways, also warmer and sunnier. No, it kind of levels off. Stick to this right side, maybe. He goes, he on the way back. Stay on this room. Maybe not. It looks like you go up where they're going. Oh, sorry, you didn't tell me to open up. To your left, I think you go up like they're doing, maybe. I don't know. That. Well, there's a ribbon up there. I don't know. Uh, is that a ribbon? It is. Was there two different ways you can go, maybe? I don't know. I don't think you go that way, babe. I don't know. There's what? Sorry. Okay. Okay. I think I heard him kind of talking like he did. Something like that. Sorry. Nope, uh, you're good. My hands are muddy, so I'm not trying. To Nope, it's alright. It's not like these clothes can't be washed. <laughs> or take a plastic bag and just wrap our muddy stuff in them. Good. Nice and tight. Yeah, I might, uh... I don't know what the best way is to do this one. <laughs> And what? Don't step on that rock, it can loose. Which one? The one your left foot is on? My right foot. Your right foot is on, okay. Okay. Try going on that rock. That rock's probably a little bit more quick. Yeah, and then from there I don't really know. Um you got it? Alright. <laughs> right. What? With how muddy and slippery your shoes are, you might go too hard on the rock or you're going to go... <laughs> yeah, I know. That's... Unfortunately, when I'm trying to take a large stuff like that, I don't have a choice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> in that case, I'll just, I'll just do that number. <laughs> say it's kind of wild back this way yeah work off all the Denny's that we've been eating <laughs> huh It's kind of rotten. <laughs> I just used the rock I didn't put much of it on it. Oh, I just slowly put weight on it until until I was sure my foot wasn't gonna slip. But even so, it still might have, but it didn't, so we're good. Also part of why I hung on to something in case it did slip. It looks rather treacherous. <laughs> Gonna what? Hold on. Coming down? Alright. That's fine. You can take that. Thank you. I said thank you. I feel like just for a minute anyways, I'll take it back once I get down. <clears throat> oh, that's kind of funny. You want me to take that back? Oh, you got it. Right. Think you can make make the leap to shore. If you think your foot's gonna slip, I wouldn't do that. If you're gonna try and launch yourself off of it. 
I know, but for that one, it doesn't look like there's, I don't know. Do you want to come back to this one and just jump? I don't. I think I can make that jump. From this one, though, I mean, because this is a bigger rock and you can get a better hold on it. That works. I'm gonna go pretty much right where you're at. Thank you. Thank you. You want me to take that back now, baby? I can take it from that one if you want to break. I just didn't want it to throw me off balance when I was coming down that one. Oh, huh, that's not. Kind of looks like there might have been an easier trail there. Just an FYI. <laughs> kind of looks like there might have been an easier trail, <laughs> but I know you're fine. But easy doesn't make it that much fun. <laughs> it's got to be a challenge. I agree. That's still a drop down there, though. Hmm? I said that's still a drop down there, though. Sure is. Can't hear the water anymore. Not that well. At waterfall number two. Take a look at that. Homie just climbed out of that. 
Are you okay? Babe? All right. What? I'm coming, hold on. At the top of the mountains. And we just climbed up that waterfall up there. Holy cow. Crazy. Alright guys, um, so we want to quickly apologize. Uh, I didn't plan very well on this hike for capturing footage. So I didn't really get a whole lot while we were walking around the crater. Initially, we expected this hike to take roughly five hours. That's what we read online, that it would take five hours to get to the three waterfalls and back. Little did we know when we started this hike that the trail actually continues further on past those waterfalls, and it goes around the top of the crater. Um, so the last clip that you actually saw in this video, uh, we were roughly halfway up the top of the tallest peak at the top of this crater. Uh, to take a guesstimate, um, I meant to look when I got to the top of the, the summit for this one to see uh, what our elevation was. And I'm going to, I would take a rough guess that it was close to 2,500 feet. You probably start around 700 uh, when you first enter the trail. And so that's quite a hike for us. We were not expecting that. We definitely uh, bit off a little more than we can chew. We handled it. We got through it. Um, but anyhow, even if I had allocated my battery life on my GoPro just a little bit better, I don't know that I would have had a whole lot of time to capture that much anyways because after after we reached the top of that peak we were kind of on a time crunch trying to get back to the car before it got dark. Uh, all of this is filmed around December and so even in Hawaii, unfortunately we're from Indiana, but even in Hawaii it gets, <laughs> it gets dark there around 6 o'clock at this time. So. Um, so yeah, we were on a time crunch to get back, and we actually ended up spending the last half hour or so of this hike uh, going through the woods in the dark. Uh, luckily, about the time that we couldn't see anymore and we actually had to use our phones to find our way back, we were at the creek where we initially started. Um, so we just followed that back, and of course we had to cross over the creek in the dark, um, but by this point in this hike you might as well just be prepared to get muddy, wet, sweaty, and cold once you get to the top of that peak. It's cold and windy and it's cloudy, so um, you get the full brunt of it. Um, make sure, I would recommend when you go on this hike to pack plenty of water because we thought we packed plenty. We had three three bottles, but they overall it was like two and a half bottles worth of water, and we were gone by the third waterfall. Um, so rationing your water, and I apologize for not rationing my battery life a little better. Again, I thought it was just going to be to the waterfalls and back, um, but you actually go around the crater. I did have my cell phone, so instead of having footage, I'll actually insert a few photos here, and you can see the progress as we go around. Um, so, overall, uh, it's a good hike. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, my legs were dead by the end of it. It was a struggle to try and climb back out of that uh, little ditch you first go into. Uh, and the trails are a little confusing. Uh, how we actually got back to the waterfalls, we came back a different way at some point. Um, towards the end, you actually end up along that creek. 
So I don't really know how that works. Um, just primarily go in one direction and you should be okay, but uh, you're just going to have to watch out there. So I would recommend going with somebody that knows those trails a little bit better. We managed uh, start early in the day take lots of water. It, this hike was actually rated as expert level. We didn't really know that either. Uh, and for an expert, reading an online uh, review comment again to, for an expert to go to the outer ring, we actually did the inner ring. There was a whole other trail that went farther out and you climbed up another tall peak if you really wanted to do that. Uh, apparently all of that is supposed to take eight and a half hours. Well, uh, we accomplished this in approximately 10, and that was with us taking breaks, some breaks at the waterfalls, especially that first one. We took a really big break at that first one. Um, so overall, for a couple of amateurs who really haven't hiked all that much, I say we did really good. Again, we did that last half hour in the dark, but uh, we got back. We managed. So we had intentions of doing other trails that day, but that consumed the entire day. So now you you can you can go to the waterfalls and go back if you want. You don't have to do the crater. It's totally what up to you what you want to do. You can go to the first waterfall and go back. You know, however you want to do it, but. Uh, Thoroughly enjoyed the hike, and it is there. When you get to the top of that crater, there are a lot of treacherous areas. I mean, at one point, you're walking along basically this, this tiny sliver of a ridge, and on either side of you, it just drops. But totally worth the views. Um, well, I'll throw that in, in there as well, too. I got got a couple of photos from the top, so absolutely worth the views, both both the waterfalls and being from on top of uh, that. You can, you can look over and you can see the one side of the island, and you can see the other. Absolutely gorgeous. So I think I've done enough rambling, and uh, I'll cut back to the end of the video here.